If you love farming games but have been looking for one that focuses mostly on raising and caring for your animals with some extra fun gameplay mechanics, then Everdream Valley might be the right game for you. However, plenty of technical difficulties might also be the reason why you choose to stay away from the Nintendo Switch version for now. By the end of this video, you'll get a taste of what Everdream Valley has to offer and my first impressions of the 5 hours I've played so far. Thank you Untold Tales for gifting me with a game code. Hello you gorgeous human being, it's Miss Bubbles. Before we get started, make sure to squish the like button so we can smack the algorithm right in the face. The story begins with you moving in with your grandparents who have been away from their farmhouse for quite some time. As such, you return to a chaotic mess and you're in charge of fixing things back up as well as bringing the farm back to its former glory. You'll slowly get introduced to the different gameplay mechanics by following new side quests which you can see easily on your minimap. And I really like that each quest has its own little lore to it, so rather than it being just a fetch quest, you'll understand a little bit more about the story. So for for example, if you want to help restore the flower field, your grandma will share with you some of her memories when she was younger. Now, different from other farming games, your grandparents accompany you on your journey. So rather than you inheriting the farm as we usually see, they will stick around and even help you by giving you daily resources, sharing recipes, and teaching you how to play the game, pretty much. <laughs> Gameplay is varied here and you have so many activities to look forward to. Of course, you will first customize your character and off you go to the beginning of this journey. You'll get a dog, but this is different from other farming games. You actually need to train it rather than have it for the sake of it. So by throwing the stick for your dog and making sure you train it, it can assist you with various things like tracking animals and objects down and even herding sheep. There are so many dog breeds to choose from. I went with the Shiva Inu and named it Teddy as always. The same is applied to your farm cat. You have to train it by playing with a cat toy and making it jump through these hoops and then it will also help you do different things like making a rooster get down from a tree. There's also crafting in the game and this comes with the plethora of resources you can collect and different workbenches you can use. You can create animal pens, fences, different tools and more. And here you'll see fun attention to detail where for example you have three different ways of feeding your animals. You can either let them out of their pens to eat whatever they find, but that will risk having your crops getting eaten as well, or you can throw them some food yourself, or maybe give them hay, and these are made by cutting down grass, drying them up for 24 hours, and then they're ready to go. It's these extra gameplay mechanics that make this game so fun to boot up and play in bite-sized sessions. Now, Everdream Valley makes use of mini games, which are pretty fun, but they're also very janky at times. For example, this cooking mini game was very hard for me to enjoy since you have to get the arrow in the green space and that space is very tiny that sounded wrong. Or if you want to milk a cow, you can use the Joy-Cons and motion controls to do so. Now, if you're wondering, there is a stamina meter, but it wasn't that hard to enjoy lots of activities and run around without getting tired, but you do have to sleep at night, otherwise the wolves will get to you. However, there's also a fun gameplay mechanic that happens at night where you dream, and I'm not gonna tell you much because I want you to try it for yourself. As I mentioned in the story section, you have quests that you can track, and I really like that the game shows you exactly where these quests are. And to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised by how big the map is. And at first it's all covered with a cloud, but the more that you explore, the more you will reveal. However, one of my complaints is that there are just so many tools and they take up such a massive space in your inventory. You can definitely increase the size of your inventory, but I feel like games similar to Roots of Pacha spoiled me with the compilation of my tools in one place. So here you have like a hoe, a wooden sword, axe, hammer, watering can, insect net, whistle, cat toy, shovel, basket, and more. And these are just too many and it's just too insane and they take up so much space. Now, as far as I've played, there were no relationships, no towns to visit with a quest board, let's say, and no romance. So definitely keep that in mind if you're looking for a farming game with romance. And speaking of farming, it's very easy to do here. You just use the hoe, plant the vegetable itself and water it. And overall, Everdream Valley does make all the tasks pretty simple to do and the tutorial Tutorials will help you understand how to play, so make sure that you do read through them, otherwise you're not gonna know how to play this game.
Let's dive into the presentation and I must say the graphics look pretty good. I love how vibrant everything is and the devs outdid themselves by adding so much greenery, detailing into the buildings, the way the animals look and even the NPCs look pretty cute. There is no voice acting and you know me, I really don't mind and to be fair, the dialogue is actually very interesting and it's so easy to get through. Music is very cute and whimsical but sometimes there's absolute silence with no music playing at all but I actually kind of like it. Sound effects are very well done, you can hear the birds chirping around, the sound of chicken and sheep, and even the wind sometimes. However, at night, I don't know what it is, but there is no music and I feel like so many sound effects are playing at the same time and it was pretty annoying. And there's also a weird thing where you'll have just one sheep around you or one cow, but it kind of sounds like 200 are there at the same time. Performance-wise, the game is struggling, and it's no surprise when there are no loading screens except for the initial one in the beginning and when going to bed. So when you have so many animations happening, so many animals going around, wind blowing around, like everything is happening all at once, you will see pop-in and stutters happen both in handheld and dock mode, and this actually gave me motion sickness. There's also something that I'm not sure if it's a bug, but every time I try to run, I'm slowly forced to walk, and this really gets in the way because it happens at least two times every minute and that slowed everything down for me. Another bug that I encountered is the quest list getting stuck and I had to restart the game for it. I also noticed that quests take a little bit of time to update even if you finish them successfully. Now there will be a patch out by the time that you're seeing this video so I really hope that the devs are able to address all of the bugs that are mentioned here. So we talked about the good and the bad, but is Everdream Valley the game for you? We're gonna go, this game is for you if, not for you if, and my first impressions. This game is for you if you want to play a farming game with an emphasis on your animals. It's for you if you want to enjoy plenty of mini games, even if they are janky at times. It's also for you if you don't care much about NPCs and prefer having your time at the farm. It's also for you if you want to explore some fun gameplay mechanics in the farming genre. However, Everdream Valley is not the game for you if you don't care much about barn animals and farming games. It's not for you if you're looking for a farming game with romance and a focus on relationships. And it's not for you for now if you can't stand bugs and whatnot, because at least until I played, there's plenty of them on the Nintendo Switch. As for my first impressions, I've been very eager to play Everdream Valley. And after five hours, I can see the hook of this game. There's so much to do and I can tell that I've barely scratched the surface. I've been struggling recently to connect with the farming games that I play and despite all the technical issues I face with this one, it felt like I can finally connect a little bit with a farming game again and that matters a lot to me because I'm a massive fan of life sims and farming games in general. So hopefully more patches will come in and fix everything that I've addressed because it would be a shame for players to skip it due to how many bugs are present right now. Are you buying Everdream Valley? Let me know down in the comment section and if you're interested, I actually reviewed Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life so definitely check it out. Stay bubbly, stay positive and I'll see you gorgeous self in the next one. Bye! Thank you to my Patreon and YouTube channel members who continue to squish the heck out of the support button. Links to both are in the pinned comments. And a special shout out goes to The Game Dimension, Faye, Jacob, Stephanie, Steven, Dark One, and Jake Logan for going the extra mile. Y'all are bubbly awesome.